Hey guys, welcome back. Stay tuned in this video. I'm going to show you how to fix that idler pulley cable that broke on you at a very inopportune moment. Stay tuned. Alright, so what you're going to need is a brand new idler pulley cable. Or excuse me, idler cable. And if you need to, pause the video and you can get that part number. Uh, need a uh, 7 16 socket and I find it easier if you have a universal joint because it can be kind of uh, kind of tricky to get into where it's at you see there that's the, the bolt we're going to be taking or the nut we're going to be taking off so let's uh, get into it and I'll show you what I'm going to do here in my stuff. Now I know Hobies are sold all over the world so if y'all are on the uh, metric system that's a 11 millimeter. So oh and your new part or at least the new cable does not come with the nuts so don't lose them. You're gonna have to reuse them. old broke cable from really rough water just take that up to the side no I'm just kidding pick that up keep your shop clean all right let's put the new one on It's gonna go over, under, around, and through. All right. Now, what I'm gonna do is just put the nut on and just take it down just a little bit, just enough to hold it in place until I get the other side on, and then I'll even up the tension on it. Because it has to go under and through. All right. Let's get this nut on without cross threading it. Ta da! All right. Now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten down each side a little at a time. All right, once you get your nuts on and started with your socket and your universal joint, get rid of it. Get you a boxed in wrench or a ratcheting boxed in wrench. And that's going to make this process a little bit easier because once that's under tension, that bolt will have a tendency to sit down even inside that pulley and it makes it a little trickier to get that socket in. It's nice when you're taking them off and it's broke, but when you're trying to put it back together, a box stand wrench is probably gonna be your best bet right here. And there's no need for thread lock because these nuts that are on it have got the nylon threads in them so you know you don't need to add any extra thread lock to it and what I'm doing is I'm just making both sides even because I'm 
anal like that. And that is how you fix your idler cable on your front pulley of your Hobie Mirage Drive. Hope this helps somebody. Uh, you know, whenever I run into an issue, I like to I like to fix it myself and then record it because maybe it'll help some. One more thing while I'm at it. Maintenance is everything. While you've got it and you've got your wrenches and your tools out, check your other cables. See how loose those are? You want to go ahead and tighten those up. Just snug those up. That front one's pretty good, but that back one's really loose. You lose a, you lose a lot of potential energy that way, and you're working twice as hard. Uh, you know, get your Hobie lube. Lube up your pins. Check all your cables, all your wires. Make sure they're in good shape. Because you don't want to be on the water and have another failure. One that would possibly be worse than this pulley. Because at least with this pulley, I was able to get it back using the drive. So, yeah. There it is. That's my tip of the day. Like I said, I hope it helps. Get back out on the water.